After picking up their first win in five games last night against the Moondogs, the Larks hope to clinch the series sweep over Mankato at home this evening. It's the second game of two. They only have two left at Municipal Ballpark this season. After giving up the one run in the first, the Larks starting pitcher Murphy Bostic, he ends the inning with the strike out. He leaves one runner stranded. The Moondogs would get back to work in the top of the third. Orlando Salinas Jr. gets the inning going with a grounder up the middle that makes its way into right. Mankato's lead would grow to three soon after. Eli Anderson's little dinker, it drops into center field, bringing in Salinas Jr. and Ty Rumsey. The Larks, they would get on the board thanks to an absolute bomb from Garrett Hill. It's a two-run shot from the NDSU junior that sails over the wall in left field. It brings the Larks within run and within one, but Mankato's offense would get the better of the Larks. Mankato wins 19 to six. Minnesota's baseball club has faced the Detroit Tigers eight times this season. Each team has won four apiece. After winning by six runs last night, the Twins hope to split the difference in game two of their series tonight. It's game two of a four-game series on the road in Detroit. The Tigers would get on the board here in the first. Jorge Polanco, he has all sorts of time to throw Cabrera out at first, but he throws it away, and this allows Riley Green to score. Detroit would take a two-run lead in the bottom of the fourth. A Javier Baez base hit to center field brings in Cabrera. Carpenter is held at third, but he'd score later in the inning. With a 4-0 lead, Detroit would add some insurance runs in the bottom of the eighth. Zach Short singles to left field. Carpenter and Haas will score. This makes it 6-0 Tigers. In five innings pitch, Sonny Gray clocked an impressive 10 strikeouts while giving up only two earned runs in the loss. It's Eduardo Rodriguez who gets the win. He struck out five batters across seven innings pitch en route to his shutout victory. Just a few weeks after the AA Legion State Tournament was held at Astoria Field in Dickinson, the same field of play has been chosen as the site for the 2024 High School Class A State Baseball Tournament, which will take place on the 30th of May through June 1st. NDSU grad Cody Malk has been listed as the starter right guard for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The former Bison was selected in the second round of the 2023 draft. He and the Buccaneers opened their season against Minnesota at U.S. Bank Stadium on September 10th. And last but not least, there was a hole-in-one hit last night on hole number 17 at Tom O'Leary. It was Dan Portman who did it with a 9-iron in front of his buddies Eric